welcome back to my channel. I wanted to hop on here real quick and just do a video talking about the journey that I'm on right now towards finding um, a zero waste skincare regimen. And I wanted to just grab some of the products that I've been using in the last couple of years um, and talk about like old and new, what I've tried yet, what I haven't, and if I have any thoughts, if I would repurchase, etc. So, um, first, if you're new here, I just want to say hello. My name is Sinia. I'm a 25 year old nurse who loves beauty and beautiful things, and I'm trying to learn how to take care of my body and myself um, while also taking care of the planet. And so I'm on this journey of trying to choose products that are in packaging that is sustainable and choosing products that are still full of good ingredients and from companies that care about the planet and whose ethical values align with my own. So if that sounds good to you, I hope that you will consider subscribing and let's go ahead and get into the main part of this video. So I guess I will just kind of start by by going through each brand. Um, we'll start with the stuff that I have from the brand The Ordinary. Um, it is a very inexpensive skincare brand that you can purchase in Ulta and online. And they make um, a lot of actives and they also make like skin cleansers and serums and stuff like that. But I personally have tried these two products. Um, their AHA 30% and BHA 2% peeling solution it is a 10 minute exfoliating facial and as you can see there's not much that I have used of this because I found that it is very harsh and very strong for my skin so I've used it a few times I felt like it worked um, I noticed a difference afterwards but it was so irritating to my skin that I have stopped putting this on my face. I do get a lot of breakouts. I do have a fairly sensitive skin type, and so I prefer to um, use things that aren't quite so irritating as this. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about this yet. I might try and give this to a family member or something, but or just use it like on my chest and back. I'm not sure, but um, I don't think that I want to continue purchasing this. I would rather try something that is um, gentler on the skin, like the Coco Kinder Surfacing Mask or something like that. Uh, this product by The Ordinary, you can tell I'm more than halfway through. This is their Lactic Acid 10% and HA, which is Hyaluronic Acid, um, and it is a superficial peeling solution, and I have loved using this so much. Um, like I said, I've used most of it, and you only need a tiny amount to put on your face and your decollete decolletage, however you say it, your neck and chest. Um, but I really have seen a massive difference in how quickly my skin um, rebounds from when I have like really dry patches of like eczema flare-ups or whatever. Um, so I really like this. I will probably repurchase this or another um, one of their hyaluronic acid serums in the future. Next up, let's talk about Coco Kind because I have a lot of products from them. And I even have some products that aren't in front of me anymore. I have used them up. So Coco Kind is um, a really great little company that makes products that I would say are fairly effective. Um, they are a little bit like stereotypical clean formulations that kind of feel a little bit clean, you know? Um, I don't feel like they're as effective as some other ones, but I like them well enough. I've purchased a lot of products from them. Um, so one of the first products that I tried from them is their turmeric spot treatment stick. And I really liked this formulation. It's um, like a solid, oh, there's a little hair in there. <laughs> it's like a solid roll up stick. And I've used this a ton and I barely have any of it like gone. There still is a ton of product left that could be used. Um, well, I guess I am kind of making my way through it, aren't I? But I really love this product. I love um, how brightening it is and that it's not um, drying or it doesn't like burn my skin. Um, they did come out with this turmeric tonic and it is a liquid 
liquid in this little tube with a um, little roller ball applicator. And this, they say, is a leave-on spot treatment for bright, clear skin. Um, this one does not stain your skin that yellow color the way that the solid stick formulation does. I really like them both. The solid stick formulation, I'm just a little more inclined to use as like a mask and then make sure that I wash my face really well. Um, I have also tried their... Oat, uh, not oat, oil, oil to milk cleanser, um, and this one is actually completely empty. I like cut it open so I can get the last little bits out. Um, it usually is like you know two, one big piece. Um, I really like this cleanser. I don't, I don't love it. It's not my favorite cleanser. I found one that I like better and that has like no packaging whatsoever to it and so I'm going to be repurchasing that one instead of this one but I had purchased this a couple different times and I always finish them and I always like them um, there just is a little bit of like a residue that stays on your skin afterwards that kind of makes it not my absolute favorite um, I have their daily SPF broad spectrum 32 this I use on my face is my facial SPF and I like it I don't think that it's incredible or anything um, the active ingredient is zinc oxide, so if you're sensitive to zinc, this is not a good one for you. Um, I haven't found an SPF that really like blows me out of the water. Um, I would love to find one that like doesn't have a white cast or anything. So this one, you know, is obviously like white in color, um, but it's good. You know, it's it's a it's a solid little SPF. I don't know if I'm going to repurchase this one or not. I probably will try something different in the future. Lastly, I have their Pore Refining Concentrate and the Texture Smoothing Cream. And I, I have mixed feelings about these. I don't think that they are necessarily worth purchasing, in my opinion. I have very large pores, and I didn't really notice... A massive difference when using these and I have like used a lot of this product so you know I don't think that it's you know incredible the delivery system on this one is really strange because the consistency is like a lotion but you're trying to like squeeze it out around this little roller ball and then like roll it onto your face can you see that and it's just a really straight, like you have to push really hard to like get any out. And I just don't like the delivery system very much. I'm gonna try and just finish it, just use it up. And I'm sure, you know, you could just cut the tube and scoop it out and put it on that way and that would be a lot easier, but I haven't done that yet. I don't know why. Then the texture smoothing cream with Celery Super Seed Complex. This is fine. It just feels like a moisturizer to me. I haven't really used it. To, like, I've used it consistently for a while, but there's a ton of product in here. You get 50 milliliters, which is... You get just as much as in your SPF. Like, that's a lot of product. And I, I like it. It's fine. It's like a whipped kind of texture. Um, it's okay. You know, like it, it doesn't wow me. It smells like like celery. It's okay. I don't know. I'm going to try and upcycle the glass jar whenever I'm finished with this. Um, let's move on to a tried and true classic for me, which is Waleda. Oh, I almost dropped it. This is the Waleda Original Skin Food, and I really love this product. It's very thick. This is their first um, formulation. It's extremely thick little teeny 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 bit goes a really 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 long way with this one and it's incredibly hydrating but it does leave like a presence on the skin which some people might find off-putting and then there also is quite a few essential oils in this um, it, it doesn't say on the, the bottle but I know it's like citrusy so there's a lot of essential oils in there which might be irritating it doesn't bother my skin I really like the way that it smells and it's never irritated my skin but yeah 
and they also have a skin food light version which is wonderful i have gone through oh man let me pull up this this is a little empty i've gone through probably four three or four of these and i have like two or three on them of them on me at all times like one in my purse one in my room one in my bathroom like one at work i'm obsessed um, let's talk about a newer, some newer skincare to me. Um, this is the Do Mighty Bloom Jelly Serum Bar. It comes in this little like origami box situation that apparently the entire thing is compostable, including like this um, overlay, like this, it says that it's made out of like vegetable resin or something. I like this serum. I got the sample size in case I didn't like the serum. It's fine. It's very... It, it feels silicone-y, but I know that it's silicone-free. It's fine. It's just... No, like, it didn't do anything insane to my skin that made me feel like I wanted to repurchase it a whole bunch. So I'm just kind of keeping it, finishing it, and then I'm going to move on to something else. Um... This is a brand called Up Circle. They are sold at Ulta Beauty. They have um, aluminum packaging for their face scrubs and glass packaging for a lot of their other um, skincare. And then I believe that they also have a take back refill type program for a lot of their like serums and things. So I picked this up. I was really interested in trying something like this. I hadn't had a physical exfoliant on my skin for a while. Um, ever since the days of that horrible apricot scrub that we all loved so much. So um, I picked this up and I accidentally picked up the one for oily combination skin instead of the one for dry skin. So I picked up quite literally the worst formulation for me. Um, and it does dry my skin out quite a bit. So I think if I repurchase this, I'm going to have to make sure that I get the citrus blend instead of the herbal this one is um, but I've been using this one on my legs before I shave to exfoliate them and it works really well it smells lovely and I like that the company cares a lot about refill um, options and they use um, they upcycle coffee grounds to make these coffee scrubs so you're not creating any new waste oh a teak is a brand that is new to me but I have had this like fast and furious love affair with them. I have fallen in love with almost everything that I've tried except for a couple of things. A lot of their hair care products have been like just so incredible for me and I've gone through so many of them. You'll see those in an empties video. Um, but a few skincare products by them of the lime and ginger solid body polish this is a full size box I finished a full size because I finished a sample as well and loved it um, it smells amazing it lasts forever and it does a really great job of exfoliating my body in the shower um, and it smells lovely and I love that their formulas are biodegradable I also have tried their saving face serum I tried the mini this is like the box that the minis come in and this is one of the few products that I didn't really fall in love with. I felt like the serum melted into such like a thick, oily wax that I, it wasn't emollient enough to really sink into my skin and it just felt really inclusive. So I didn't love this. I still have it somewhere. Um, and I'm just going to have to try and like use it on my body or something to use it up. But didn't love this for my skin, for my face. Um, I also have the Atik Juicy Pink Grapefruit and Vanilla Lip Balm. This is just the box. The actual lip balm is in with my makeup stuff. And I like that it is a cardboard tube and that you just push up the product to like advance um, the tube of chapstick. It smells really nice. It is very thick. 
and occlusive also on your lips and I feel like it leaves a presence. Um, so it's not my favorite formula for a lip balm, but I do really appreciate what Atique does for their um, customers just making everything so abundantly zero waste. I applaud them for that. Um, this particular formula was just not my favorite. Um, this is an antique product that I haven't tried yet, actually. I picked this up in my latest shampoo and conditioner haul, and this is their coconut and lime butter block, and I can actually show you what the inside looks like. The butter block, I've opened it and smelled it, obviously, but it comes wrapped in this lovely paper, um, and I just have kind of smushed it back. It looked a lot prettier before. Um, it smells, oh, it smells divine. And I love the delivery system. It's all compostable, recyclable, and it all breaks down in your backyard, which is incredible. Um, I haven't tried this yet. I really am interested to know if I even like it as a body lotion. Um, we'll see, but this is the latest thing to try on my list. Um, let's talk about the face serum really quick, face cleanser. This is also from Antique, and it is their, what is it called? The Superstar Solid Face Cleanser and Makeup Remover. So here's a, a brand new box um, that I haven't opened yet. I'm not going to, but um, there are three of these little bars kind of stacked in there. And I really love that that's how they chose to separate out their bars because it being this small really helps it be a lot more um, compact and user friendly so I keep one in this little um, cabinet that I have you in right now and I have one in my shower so that if I have makeup on and I'm like washing my face in my shower I can use it then and I just really love how it just melts my makeup away and melts into my skin and then it cleans off like it rinses off completely it doesn't leave any sort of residue on my skin whatsoever. I just adore that about it. So that is my, probably my star product from Etique and I will forever and ever repurchase that cleanser. The latest product that I purchased is this little guy and this is from Good Molecules. I actually purchased this today. I've been wanting a proper eye cream. I don't have one up to this point. I've just been using my Lolita Ultra Rich under my eyes and it worked fine but I wanted to really try this product. It's, it's been something that I've seen recommended. I've seen it in ads. I've seen other YouTubers talk about it and people on Instagram and um, this is their Yerba Mate Wake Up Eye Gel. Oh I just dropped it. Oh my gosh. Oh. So it says that it's formulated to help revitalize and energize the eye area use AM and PM, never tested on animals, and it is um, from a company that is based in California. So I really love supporting small businesses and I especially love supporting small American businesses and this is a great way to do both of those things. Um, comes in an aluminum tube, but the plastic cap is white plastic, which is a lot easier to recycle than black plastic, like this one. You win some, you lose some but I really appreciate that. The formula is really beautiful. I put it on earlier today and it really just like sank right into my eyes and it made them feel really soft and hydrated. So I really love this. It smells really nice. I personally, I love drinking Yerba Mate tea. So this was like, I felt like a true fan purchasing this. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put all of this back where it belongs and um, go on with my day. I have plans to do absolutely nothing, but I just want to say thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you guys like these kinds of videos, please let me know in the comments below what you would like to see me review next. I would love to talk about um, zero waste oral care, zero waste hair care, like shower routine, things like that. Um, this journey of being more sustainable has been so much fun to try and document on here. So for watching. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see you in the next one.